So the first thing I don't, everybody's experienced in a different way, right? We have clients, most of the businesses that we serve are, you know, nine out of 10 of them, they're small businesses. They have less than 10 sales reps and the other 10% have 10 plus sales reps and they have full-time sales leadership. And they're just coming to our service to get higher volumes of quality reps into their organization. But most of the businesses that we help, they don't have much going on in terms of a commission-based sales team yet. And they're just in the initial phases of scaling up their commission-based sales team. So you may not know your retention numbers when I go through some of the training today, if you don't have enough experience in building your sales team inside of your business, but this should still be helpful. The first thing that you need to understand though, if you haven't recruited before, especially when it comes to building a commission-based sales team, which is what we're talking about. We're talking about how to recruit and onboard a commission-based sales team or commission-based sales reps. One of the things that's really important to understand, and this really goes along with any type of recruiting, even if it's like an employee job or a salary type of sales opportunity or you know, like a regular W-2 role, it even applies in opportunities like that. But even more so when you're building a commission-based sales team, the volume of people coming through your recruiting process is incredibly important. And so just to kind of set the stage with really what's required from a time investment into recruiting, you need about 100 applications into your recruiting process to get to the point where you actually onboard one sales rep into onboarding, right? So if I want to recruit eight sales reps in the next 30 days, then on average, I'm going to need 800 applications coming through our recruiting process to onboard eight reps. So that's pretty straightforward. But from a numbers perspective, because candidate lead volume in the sales recruiting process is required, it's important for you to understand that 100 applications coming into your recruiting process, well, you need to screen through 95 of those, right? So it's a good amount of work. We're going to talk about the easiest way to do that. You need to screen through 95 of those to get it down to the five best people that are also interested about your opportunity before you kind of do your one-on-one -on -one interviews and invest a lot of time with the people. And out of the five people, you'll on average close one. So to recap quickly, if you want to get one rep into onboarding, you need to understand understand that it technically you need a hundred applications. You need to screen out 95 of them on average. That'll result into five people that are highly interested and most likely a fit for your opportunity. You meet one-on-one -on -one with them. You close one, maybe two of them if you're good at the closing process. But from the numbers perspective at the top of the recruiting funnel, that's kind of what's required. Okay. So I want to set the stage with that because I want to talk about retention rates as well, because if you're experienced in recruiting and specifically building a commission-based sales team, you already understand this. But the reality is it's never recruit one sales rep and keeps it that one sales rep and every Everything works out perfectly, right? There's always going to be a volume aspect of recruiting and the amount of volume that needs to come on board the organization to get to the point where you actually retain reps resulting in this sales production. That's going to highly depend on your ability to onboard, train, and lead people, as well as the length of your sales cycle. So as an example, if our sales cycle, if my sales cycle was one week versus maybe a sales cycle that's 90 days, and both of them are all commission, well, objectively, if a rep comes in and they have a seven-day sales cycle versus a 90-day sales cycle, in the seven-day sales cycle, they're going to most likely have a lot better success because they don't have to wait 90 days to close a deal and start making money. And so there's a lot of kind of nuances in terms of retention, but it's important that you understand that it is a volume game, even if you have a pretty solid opportunity. What are your retention rates? Most likely, if you're building a commission-based sales team, your retention rates are gonna be 20, 25%. If you have a really solid organization, 33%. And if you have an amazing opportunity and all your processes are flushed out and you have things like most of our clients don't have like training pay, lead opportunities and these kind of things, maybe your retention rates will be up to 50%. And so the reason that we need to start there is because you, can, you need to kind of be able to paint a picture of the amount of reps that you're gonna to need to bring on board to get to the point where you retain one rep that scales up into quota. That's why I'm going through these numbers before we get to the recruiting process, okay? And so candidate lead volume required, right? 100 applications down to one higher end onboarding, but you need to take into consideration your retention rate. So as an example, if our retention rates are 25%, well, what that means is I need to recruit four reps. I need to cycle four reps into onboarding to get to the point where I actually retain one rep that scales up into quota or better, okay? And the reason that you need to understand that is because if I need to recruit four reps to get one rep into onboarding so that my time investment into the recruiting process was worth it because I want the retain rep in sales production. Well, if it takes 10 to 15 hours of work to go through 100 applications, which is a note I forgot to miss, if it takes 10 to 15 hours of work to screen through 100 people to get down to one recruit, and I need to recruit four reps just to get one to stick because I have a 25% retention rate, well, just from a recruiting perspective alone, I need to invest at least 40 hours into the recruiting process to get four reps into onboarding, assuming a 25% retention rate to get one to stick. Okay, so to recap, 100 applications for one recruit into onboarding, but not everybody sticks. You have a specific retention rate. That's 20, 25%, 33%, maybe 50% if you have an amazing opportunity. If it's 25% in the example I just gave, that means we need four recruits. 
Well, if it takes 10 to 15 hours of recruiting work, not even including the onboarding work to get one rep into onboarding, well, times four, that's 40 to 60 hours of recruiting work that I need to invest just to get the bodies in the door so that I retain the one rep. Now, obviously that time investment was worth it, but it is a big time investment. And if you guys have been going through struggles in recruiting, it's typically from a few places, right? Most companies don't have the process. From their perspective, one of the biggest things is they, they don't have the time, right? They don't have the time to invest. If their retention rates are 25% and they're like, man, I freaking need one recruit. They don't have the time to invest into the recruiting process correctly, which would be 40 to 60 hours to get four reps into onboarding and one retain. If those are my retention rates and I want to recruit five reps, I need to retain five reps that scale up in the quota and my retention rates are 25%. Well, I need to recruit 20 reps, right? Well, 20 reps times 10 to 15 hours, that's 200 to 300 hours of recruiting work to recruit 20 reps so that I get to the point where I retain five of them. Okay, so hopefully this is making sense. I'm going quick. The reason I explain that is because most likely, if you're looking to scale up a commission-based sales team, one of your biggest issues right now is you're just not simply simply making it a priority, a focus, a full-time investment within your business. And again, this time investment doesn't even include the onboarding process. Recruiting producers, your salespeople, if you guys are serious about building a commission-based sales team, it needs to be a full-time investment. Think about it. You know, obviously the product that you sell, the experience that you give to your clients and all these things is incredibly important. But if you look at building a long-term sustainable business, what is actually the most important thing? It's the revenue. It's the cash flow of the business is because the cash flow, the revenue of the business is what actually allows you to build the business that you want and invest into making it better so you can build a long-term organization. So one of the issues that we see with small businesses, and this is almost every client that comes into our service, is not only did they have the process in place and they didn't know how to kind of like operate the recruiting process, but they really didn't have the time. And because they didn't have the time, they were actually never able to recruit the reps into their organization, which means they've been spinning their wheels forever in terms of building their sales team, okay? And so it needs to be a full-time investment if you guys are serious about recruiting and building a commission-based sales team. And this is even if you want just a two, three, four, five sales rep team, okay? I'll tell you guys about it later, but. When companies plug into our service, what's cool is we operate, we take away 90% of the recruiting work for them. So they just get to show up to one-on-one -on -one interviews and close. And by the way, I'm going to talk about that too. We just improved our service and we're rolling it out to a few clients. But when companies plug into our service, they immediately adopt us and we are their full-time recruiting department. Okay. And if it's not a full-time focus, then you're never going to get the people and you're going to be spinning your wheels as a business owner, an entrepreneur, or a sales leader. You need the people like us to join your sales team to produce so money comes in and you can build the organization that you want.